we have learned about limestone, the limestone cycle, and its real-life applications. We now know that it is an incredibly useful material. But where exactly does limestone come from? How do we get limestone? In this lesson, we will learn about quarrying, which is the mining process for limestone. We will also learn about the economic, environmental, and social effects of quarrying. We know that limestone is formed from the compression of shells and skeletons of many dead marine organisms. This means that limestone is found where there used to be large bodies of water. This also means that limestone must be mined. A quarry is an open mine, and quarrying is the process by which limestone is mined. We know that limestone has many uses and is the starting material for even more useful materials. This enables the construction industry to flourish and local and national economies to keep growing. From the same perspective, the existence of these quarries means that employment is created, either for the people living close to the quarry or for people who work with materials made from limestone. Therefore, it contributes to the livelihood and well-being for many people and their families. From an environmental perspective, however, it is rather different. To start, a large quarry is an incredible eyesore as it ruins the surrounding scenery. Let's imagine you are in a wide open space, with trees and grass all around you. Imagine that the birds are singing and that it is a bright sunny day. Now, place a very busy and noisy quarry right in the middle. Not very pleasant. People who live close to the quarry are frequently bothered by the constant noises and must inhale the dust and particulates produced from the quarrying process. This could lead to complicated health problems long term. <coughs> Think about it. Limestone must be removed in slabs. This requires the use of heavy machinery and construction vehicles. As well, the original habitat was completely destroyed, and this habitat cannot be replaced. Now, let's imagine that you live close to the quarry. Place your house and school nearby. Can you think of one advantage and one disadvantage of having the quarry so close to where you live and study? Pause and resume when ready. Perhaps you are interested in limestone and its uses and would like to explore a career in limestone quarrying. This would be a good starting point to gain hands-on experience about the industry. Maybe more houses need to be built for the quarry workers and their families. This would mean that you could have more friends and classmates in school. But it may no longer be safe for you and your friends to play or explore the area. As well, considering that there is quite a bit of noise and dust, you may wish to avoid prolonged exposure to the air around it. Some areas may have thrived from the tourism industry, but now that there is a quarry, Walks and hikes may no longer be possible. Also, the quarried limestone must now be transported from the quarry to factories and other locations, now at multiple trucks driving back and forth from your imagined quarry. Even worse, so the noise levels are further increased, and keep in mind that these trucks are burning fuels, emitting carbon dioxide and other oxides that contribute to the formation of acid rain. As well, once all of the limestone has been mined, we are left with an open space, with no real use or purpose. What will happen to the local people who were employed at the quarry, now that it has shut down? They may need to find employment elsewhere, and they may need to relocate their families. The surrounding area may very well soon be deserted. Limestone is a very important material and obviously needs to be quarried. Although there are many disadvantages to quarrying, the adverse effects can be minimized. The quarry can be smaller, therefore reducing the noise and pollution levels. Instead of having many trucks transporting limestone out of the quarry daily, the frequency of transportation can be reduced. Once the quarrying is done, trees can be replanted in the surrounding area. The empty quarry may also be used as a tourist attraction and as an educational site educating the public about limestone, where it comes from, and its many uses. In conclusion, there are many economic advantages to quarrying limestone, 
However, there are social and environmental disadvantages, though these can be minimized by careful planning prior to opening a quarry.